we will need the communities to form water associations and get their members who are the people who are going to use this water anyway because before you begin to make the investments in the boreholes in the overhead tanks in sending out the water you need to know that there's demand and estimate the demand and that's so for us to estimate the demand these people must form water associations in the community they know themselves and what we will do in that case is to make the investments in the boreholes in the overhead tanks and then give the association the water so that they can sell to their members collect whatever you know uh, they have agreed so that they can continue to maintain and sustain the facilities we have put. That's the basis for you know, providing these associations in the rural areas. We are putting in place a system where we can now um, recover the costs in these investments. Like you can see, it's very expensive. Look at the network of pipes and pumps that we've had to put in place to take the water almost uh, 20 kilometers from the river down here and then you can imagine the extent of distribution of pipes into homes into communities right now people pay for water and our goal is to ensure that we get them cleaner safer water more convenient at a cheaper rate at which they are buying water now from you know private providers mm -hmm.